What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Heart Gold Soul Silver walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we kind of completed the whole silver thing. And, uh, well, here we are back in New Bark Town. Bear in mind, the last recording was the battle against Red. And this can only happen when, you know, when you defeat Red. So, yeah, we that's kind of a lame thing to do defeat red first and then get these legendary Pokemon that's why these things are in reverse so what we're gonna be doing here first guys is we're gonna be getting ourselves quite a few Pokemon some starter Pokemon that we we kind of love we kind of uh, want and all that crud so let's go right ahead and start off with Palatown right here so after defeating red over at Mount Silver Professor Oak will have a special gift right here and look at this we're in front of our old house right here and uh, we're going to be going up here, and we're going to be talking to this man, and he's going to be like, Hello, Draven. Good to see you. I heard a lot about you. Your Pokedex must be close to compete. For all your hard work, I would like to give you something. Look at this. <laughs> What's behind me? You must have figured that right away. Yes, it's a Pokemon. You don't see, uh, you don't see them uh, very often in Kanto. Choose one and it'll be yours. Go ahead. So... As you guys can see, we can actually pick ourselves one of the starting Pokemon from the Kanto region, which is Charmander, Squirtle, and Bulbasaur. And, well, since I already have Bulbasaur on the team, and I can actually breed it whenever I want to, let's go right ahead and grab ourselves our good old buddy, Charmander. That's right. So there it is, guys. We got ourselves our buddy, Charmander. And, uh, well, let's go right ahead and give it a nickname. You guys already know what the nickname is going to be. Godzilla, Godzilla. It has been a while, my friend. It has been a while since I've seen you. Now, I could have just transferred him over from Pokemon Leaf Green, but, uh, yeah, you know, they, those Pokemon are a little overpowered. Many of you guys would have been saying a, a lot of things about me and all that stuff. And, yeah, well, you know, it is what it is. So, Godzilla is the nickname. Yes, it is. And, well, Professor Oak's like, if a wild Pokemon appears, your Pokemon can battle it. With it at your side, you should be able to reach the next town. What am I saying? You already know this. <laughs> okay, so that is one down. And I think we got another Pokemon to go. So let's go right ahead and grab ourselves our next starter Pokemon. So the next place we have to go to is Saffron City. And we're going to be speeding this through. Now, we're going to be going into the... What was it called? Uh, the, the Silph Co. And you're going to be finding yourself an interesting individual in there, too. And where is he? There he is. So as you guys can see, Steven Stone is right here. And he's like, hello? You're breaking up. I think it depends on how my dad feels. I see. I'll be on my way. See you soon. Hmm. Something is afoot in Hoenn. You are... I remember those eyes. When I see a trainer with uh, whose eyes twinkle, I always remember. You have a Pokedex, so you are also in search of Pokemon. Mm, let me see. I think I can help you with that. Let's say you have stones in front of you. Which color would you pick? Of course, you have a green stone, red stone, and blue stone. These are the colors of the sturdy Pokemon from Hoenn. We already have our good old buddy, what's his face, um, Sage of the Halo. And uh, we're going to save the redstone for maybe, hmm, another walkthrough. So, we're going to be going with our good old buddy. Yes, Swamp Lord. So, here it is, guys. We get ourselves our water-type Pokemon, Mudkip. And, yes, we're going to be giving this guy a nickname. Yes. Anywho, this is a, a bit of a tribute to our previous walkthroughs. I know that, you know, we could have just continued with other walkthroughs right here, but I kind of wanted to go back to the classics and make them better for you guys. And, well, here it is, guys. Swamp Lord is back on the crew. Yes! You did a great job naming it. Take good care of it. Your caring for it will make me very happy. Alrighty. Alright, alright, alright. So, that right there completes the first portion of uh, this, you know... Episode 69. First and foremost, let's go ahead and take a look at our new Pokemon. So here we have Godzilla. Often lost in thoughts. It is a very, very uh, serious Pokemon. Has the Blaze technique. Scratch and Growl is his, uh, his effects. Here we have Swamp Lord. As you guys can see, has Torrent. Same moves and all that stuff. Adamant Nature and all that crud. Yes. 
Okay, so the next thing we need to do is, uh, well, an event Pokemon, uh, it, it is going to be a, an event Pokemon situation right here. So, since we are playing Pokemon Heart Gold, we are going to be going after Kyogre, and then we're going to be going to Groudon. Groudon is not going to be, well, we're going to get Groudon easily. It's the final Pokemon that we need to get. So, I'll be right back with you while I put on these codes. Alrighty, so here we are, guys, back in action. So the code for Pokemon Heart Gold, since we are playing Pokemon Heart Gold, will be as followed, right there down in the description. And all you need to do now is press the L and R button. And what you need to do afterwards is you need to go straight to the Pokemon in order to get this uh, this uh, specific orb. As many of you guys already know, this is a Pokemon event that no longer exists and can only be get uh, could, could only be get be get or gotten. My vocabulary sucks. Uh, through cheats, and as you guys can see, the man in green is here, and he's like, Good day, you must be Draven. I received a gift for you. And here we get ourselves the blue orb. If you guys are playing Pokemon Soul Silver, you will be getting the red orb. Code will be right there on the description down below. And, well, let's go right ahead and see what our mom got us. So we got more berries. There we go, Yaki berries. Uh, Bubbly berries. And there we go, Charty berries. What else? A chocolate berries, and there we go. Okay, so that right there is that. Now the next place we need to go to is back in Sinewood City. So I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty, guys. So here we are back in Sinewood City, and well, the next place we need to go to is uh, this area right here, where the new Safari Zone is located. If you guys remember, there is a specific spot here where you are gonna need rock climb and waterfall. Yeah, waterfall. Oh wow. Siri, Siri is just like talking to me right now <laughs> on my other computer. I don't know why I'm here. So we're gonna be going right here and grabbing ourselves a big pearl. And uh, yeah, we're gonna be needing. Yeah, we're gonna be needing a Pokemon with both Rock Climb, Surf, and Whirlpool in order to get to this spot right here. Now, make sure to have yourself a Pokemon within the level 50s, because, well, you know, these Pokemon are at level 50s. I don't know about, uh, I don't know about our good old friend, uh, what's his face, uh, Rayquaza, but I'm already equipped with, uh, the Pokemon that I need right here. So... Yeah, we're going to be getting attacked by some Pokemon, and believe it or not, we did capture ourselves a Serpentera right here. That actually helped us a lot. And, well, we're going to be surfing our way over here. And before anything happens, let's go right ahead and put on some repels. I don't want, uh, I don't want to get attacked by anybody right here. Let's see. Here we go. Max repels, and let's go right ahead and find this god dang Pokemon. As you guys can see... There's some extra spots right here where you're going to need Waterfall. But this it's this part right here where you're going to be needing Rock Climb. And, well, th yeah, there's an item right here, I think. Yes, we found ourselves a Stardust. And, well, let's go right ahead and climb this wall. As you guys can see, there is a hole in that wall. And what we're going to do is we're going to switch it to Nessie. Just in case... But before anything, let's go right ahead and grab that little item that, you know, is right there. And here we found ourselves a Wave Incense. Can actually help our, our Water-type Pokemon. And, well, let's go right ahead and see what happens. Talk to this guy. He's like, well, hello! It said that in the past, this hole used to be a huge tower reaching far into the sky. They say that it's rather strange the tower that half of it is embedded in the cliff. It was not just a tall tower reaching up in the sky, but also reaching deep underground. It is rumored that is it, that it even reached the bottom of the ocean. In sort, the ruins used to connect to the sky and the land and the sea to each other. Most of the tower is now crumbled, and the only things that remain are the entrance to the interior, where you'll see strange patterns. Okay, so we're going to be uh, saving this game because I don't know how I'm going to do. I'm probably going to screw it up. Let's go! Maximum effort. Here we are in the Embedded Tower, and here you're going to be finding yourself Kyogre in Pokemon Heart Gold. If you're playing Pokemon Soul Silver, you're going to be finding yourself Groudon. So let's go right ahead and uh, switch up our Pokemon. So making its Pokemon Heart Gold debut is our good old buddy Raiden. Let's go. Growl. Oh, wow. 
the song never ceases to amaze me. So here it is, guys. Kyogre in all its glory, level 50. And here we have Raiden. Alrighty. And there is something special about this Raiden. Yes, it has Thunder Wave. Okay. Yeah, you are now Thunder Wave, my friend. So you can attack me. And that rain is going to do you some damage. So let's go with Shockwave. And, well, here comes the Aqua Ring. Which should help us out just a little bit. Because with every wave, or with every, you know, with every, uh, every turn, it will learn, well, it will increase its HP. So we're going to go with Tentacruel. And that does not work. And it is growing in, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, it's growing in HP. Here we go. And, yes, we're just trying to weaken it down, guys. We're not trying to, like, defeat it or anything like that. So, let's go with Nessie. And, Nessie, let's go with a Body Slam. And just like that, Water Spell gets hit. So, let's go right ahead and try and capture this Pokemon right here. Let's see. We got a few Dust Balls. Let's go with an Ultra Ball. Damn it. Okay. There we go. Oh, almost got this guy. And... Let's go. Okay, so... It's becoming a little bit stronger, so let's go right ahead and hit it with the Body Slam right here. And here comes the Ancient Power. Let's go right ahead and... Let's go with this guy. And Ice Beam is going to hit us. Damn it. Okay, Water Spell is really messing us up. And of course, it's, uh... You know, we have to take that ability away, so let's go right ahead and do that. Ice Beam hits us. So, what if we take it away with... No, it, it failed. Okay, so never mind. Let's go with a Body Slam. And, yes, we're clearly not doing what we're supposed to be doing right here. And, oh, almost caught this guy right here. Actually, let's not do that. Come on. Oh, almost caught him. Okay, no. I'm tempted, guys. I am very tempted. But a critical hit is a, a foot. And that right there is that. And here we go. Aqua Ring has failed. So let's go right ahead and keep on throwing some Ultra Balls at it. And come on. Come on, baby. Damn it. And, well, we got to heal up our Pokemon. So just remember, guys, both Kyogre and Groudon have elemental uh, effects on it. It will try and heal itself some type of way. And as you guys can see, it's not letting us capture it. So let's go with an Ultra Ball. Come on, baby. Come on. Damn it! Come on. Oh, yes! We caught him! <laughs> yes! Yes! Whew. Okay, so that was easy. Anywho, here we have Kyogre, the sea basin Pokemon. A mythical Pokemon said to have swelled the seas, the rain, and the tidal waves. It battled with Groudon. Yes, we got ourselves Kyogre. We're not going to be going for no kind of, uh, no, uh, no nickname. And, well, the hiker right here is going to be like, Well, hello! That was something you don't see every day. That Pokemon is Kyogre, a legendary Pokemon in the Hoenn myth about shaping the, of that region. I see. I see! The Embedded Tower was built by the Pokemon, the people of Hoenn, or from Hoenn. The tower that binds together the sea, the land, and the sky. Kyogre was not the only Pokemon described in the Hoenn myth. This place may still be hiding some some of its secrets. The knowledgeable Pokemon professor may be able to tell you more than you know uh, when you show him Kyogre. Whew. There are so many connections between Pokemon and myths. See you around. Well, it looks like to us we have to go to Professor Oak, and this leads us to the second step of our little uh, little part right here. Okay, so what we're gonna be doing is we're going to be going back to the Kanto region and let's see yeah we're going to be going back to the Kanto region and going back to Professor Oak there we are and we're going to show him Kyogre right here Kyogre looking like a big old uh, woolly mat or no big old baby beluga and stuff and well let's go right ahead and show him this big old Pokemon now I can't fit in this place but if you talk to Professor Oak, he's like, Oh, Draven, what did you? Uh, what brought you here? Ah, the legendary Pokemon that appear in Hoenn Myth. You must be talking about Kyogre and Groudon. The Embedded Tower is probably the ruins that has something to do with the Hoenn Myth. If so, the other one must be around. 
Kyogre and Groudon are said to have shaped the seas and lands. Where those, uh, where those two are, the other Pokemon is said to appear as well. All this is quite possible. It's hard to imagine the. Uh, it's hard to imagine that the Red Orb will make Groudon appear at the Embedded Tower. However, according to Mr. Pokemon, Groudon does not show itself to trainers with golden hearts, but only those with shining silver spirits. It may be difficult for you, uh, for you alone to accomplish this, Draven. But if you manage to obtain Groudon that came from the Embedded Tower, please do come and show me both legendary Pokemon. I will then share with you the rest of the Hoenn myth. So how's your Pokedex coming? Yeah, that's the last thing that I need to be a need to ask. So what he basically means is that we need to trade Groudon and Kyogre, or we need to trade Groudon to Kyogre, or yeah, vice versa, whatever. So what he basically means is that you need to actually have the Pokemon, the legendary Pokemon from the other version, in the same playable version that you're playing right now, in order for this to all work. Unfortunately for us, we cannot trade because well you know this uh this movie right here does not do it so what's going to happen is i'm going to add another cheat to this that way we can have both of these pokemon and you you'll definitely see what, what's going to happen so i'll be right back with you guys and there you go and there you go guys you get yourself a groudon sorry about that it kind of messed up a little bit so as you guys can see right here we get ourselves a Groudon from the Embedded Tower in Pokemon Soul Silver. As you guys can see, this Pokemon is now 13 years old. And it is the same Pokemon that you can get in Pokemon uh, Soul Silver. Now, the only messed up part is that, well, this guy has no PPs or anything like that. Now, the next portion to this whole thing, or something very important, is that you have to have a Pokemon at the start of your team, a Pokemon that you don't need, that way this whole switch can actually happen. Because if you have an important Pokemon on your team, like, you know, your starter or anything, yeah, that's going to be messed up. So, the next portion of this whole this whole ordeal is that we're going to be going straight back to Pallet Town. And what's going to happen now is we're going to be going straight to Professor uh, Professor Oak. And he's going to recognize this Groudon, and if you're playing Soul Silver, it's going to recognize the Kyogre as the other Pokemon from the other version. So as you guys can see, Professor Oak's like, you did it, Draven! You caught both Kyogre and Groudon. Okay, I would like to interest you with this. Here we get ourselves the Jade Orb. And this right here, it resembles the orb that you received from Mr. Pokemon, doesn't it? It's called the Jade Orb. It has something to do with Rayquaza. Legend has it that the battle between Groudon and Kyogre shaped the lands and seas of Hoenn. Volcanic eruptions and giant waves are said to have completely changed the shape of the land there. But then Rayquaza came down to halt the battle. It is said uh, it is a Pokemon that rules the skies. If the Embedded Tower is related to Kyogre and Groudon, then going there with the Jade Orb will surely make something happen. So how's your Pokedex coming? I don't know and I really don't care. So there it is guys. We got ourselves Groudon. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. The next part is we're going to have to go back to, well, Cyanwood City. And it looks like to me, yeah, we're going to have to do this all over again. So I'll be right back with you guys once we get to the specific spot. Alrighty, guys. So here we are back into the Safari Zone area. And we're going to be going straight for Rayquaza. So all we need now is just to go up here and the legend will be complete. Nobody's going to be appearing before us. And Rayquaza will indeed be in here. I'm moving by myself. And you can hear this guy just roar. Look at this guy. He's been waiting for us. Kiriri. Okay. So, it looks like to me, it is finally time to capture the final legendary Pokemon of this whole game, Rayquaza. Oh my god, the song really makes it just like, you know, fantastic. So as you guys can see, here we have Rayquaza, the dragon and flying type Pokemon. This guy is no joke when it comes to, you know, beating the crud out of Pokemon trainers. This guy is super strong and as you guys will probably find out later on in Pokemon Alpha Sapphire and Ruby, uh, Omega Ruby, it is the real thing. So what we're going to do right here, now that we got ourselves, now that we got ourselves a Master Ball. We have a Master Ball. We're going to do it. We're going to capture this guy with the Master Ball just because we're going to complete this. So there it is. Master Ball. Go. 
There it is. Two, three, throwing at the peace sign. Yes. Okay. Alrighty. Look at it. So, there it is, guys. We caught ourselves Rayquaza, the Lord of the Skies. Here is Rayquaza, Sky High Pokemon, Dragon and Flying. It flies uh, in the ozone layer, way up in the sky, until recently no one had ever seen it. Well, I've seen it quite a few times, and, well, I don't remember the name of this Pokemon, so we're just going to keep it going and moving this Pokemon into the PC. So, there it is, guys. We caught ourselves all three legendary Pokemon. And, well, we're going to be doing one last thing, and we're going to be taking a look at Rayquaza itself. So, before I even trigger anything, I'm just going to go right here into Sinewood City. And here it is. We're going to be going into this particular spot um, right here. Okay, so let's go right ahead and take a look at our newest Pokemon, Rayquaza. Where the heck are you? There you are. So, Rayquaza, as you guys can see, it is at level 50 here in Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver. It is mysterious. It, is, it has the quirky nature and all that crud. It has Airlock, which eliminates all other effects. And, uh, well, as you guys can see, it has Rest, Air Slash, Ancient Power, and Outrage. It was not going to make it easy for me, so I'd rather just capture it with the, Poke with the Master Ball and all that stuff. So, anywho, that is pretty much it, guys, for this episode. It has been long, but we finally did it, and, uh, well, why does everybody have to call us, like, right when we're about to leave, so. It has been a long and arduous freaking adventure, but in the next one, we're gonna be going up against our, you know, ourselves, basically ourselves, Pokemon Trainer Red. You do not want to miss this. It is the final episode, guys. Thank you guys again for watching. Thank you guys again for being patient, as always, and thank you guys for being as supportive as can be. I will be back for another episode, the final episode of our Pokemon Heart Gold Soul Silver walkthrough. See you guys.